Hey YouTube, um, I just got back to the hotel from my surgery, um, and I just took some Vicodin that I was prescribed. I'm kind of out of it, but, um, so when you first get to the surgery center, you, like, sign in and stuff, and there's this woman who works there, her name's Joanne, and she's, like, she's really funny and, like, super fierce and cracks me up and, like, has a nice sense of style and whatnot. Um, everyone at the surgery center is, like, really, really, really cheerful. Like, really cheerful. Oh, um, I can't. It's okay, don't worry. If you want to, like... <laughs> um, there you go. Okay. Oh. I'll just sit at the edge here. Don't mind me. You can sit here. It's fine. Um, I... You want to help out? I was talking about Joanne and everyone being really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, everybody here is, like, really cheerful. And someone was like, it's in the coffee. And everyone's in, like, a hustle and bustle. It's like, and I asked if it was busy. And they're like, oh, no, this isn't busy. Um, but, like, everyone's, like, acting like it's busy. Um, I got referred to by my birth name by a couple people who didn't know to call me anything other than that. So, like, um, for example, I talked to a different doctor before, uh, or at, before and after talking to Dr. Hermoni, and he referred to me as Ira. Um, but the nurse who did the IV and stuff was just like, oh, no one told me to call him that, sorry, and so that was cool. It didn't particularly bother me because I was, like, I was expecting it because it's still my, like, my birth name is still my legal name. Oh my gosh, my chest hurts. Um, trying to think. Uh, I didn't have to wait that long at all. Uh, we waited, like, what, half an hour, and then, like, they literally were like, hey, Ira, come over here, Ira, go over there, hey, Ira, I need you, oh, hey, can I steal Ira really quick, I need him, and, like... <laughs> Um, I don't know, oh, yeah. shit, oh, reflexes, so, like, I don't know if you can see, like, Dr. Garamoni drew on me and stuff, and so, um, he explains what he's gonna do, and he has, like, well, I mean, obviously, because he's a surgeon, but he has, like, super steady hands, like, he drew, like, a perfect circle on his hand when he was showing me the size of the areola that he's gonna make, or rather, like, modify, um, so yeah, oh, here's my bracelet thing, um, oh, uh, we, we got a free ride back that was called by the hospital, not, not by Christian, um, or by the surgery center, um, I'm trying to think, um, but yeah, like, everybody was there, it was, like, really nice and really cool, uh, I didn't have to do, like, a countdown, I don't need, like, I was just out, uh, um, and then, you know, they were doing surgery or whatever, like, I had, they had, like, nothing. Normally, I feel like they're like, okay, you know, here's the anesthesia, and nope, they gave me, like, an anti-anxiety, and I started, like, well, they said it was, like, an anti-anxiety or, or whatever, and then everything, I felt like, like I was stoned, <laughs> and, and then, and then I, that's it, that's all I remember. Um, when you wake up, your mouth feels extremely, extremely, extremely fucking dry, and your lips are also really dry and, like, kind of flaky. It's really disgusting. Um, but they give you, like, they'll give you, like, free apple juice or cranberry juice or orange juice, or you can get water. Um, I got apple juice. <laughs> Ow. Um, no surprises there. Um, but then I also got water because the cotton mouth wouldn't go away. I still have, like, really bad cotton mouth. Um, I'm trying to think. What else? Oh, you know, Christian, do you want to say anything for, like, companions out there? Um, Joanne uh, pointed me out to the mall. Uh, mall's really nice. It's from Phoenix, Phoenix-wise or Arizona-wise. It's like a, oh, scared me. Uh, it's like a medium-sized mall almost. I, I thought it was going to be pretty small, and then it kept going. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty nice. Um, there's food there. I really like the food court there because, like, you can, it's just, it almost has, like, the mall has, like, a giant bay window on one side. And then they have, like, this little mini water garden or, like, rock with a waterfall. And you can, like, eat there and watch it. And it was really cool. I just hung out there for a while. And then they have, like, really good... The doctor's office has good magazines to read. I was intrigued. A lot of, like, Peoples and L and InStyles and newspapers. And there was just one of the... I want to say it was, like, called, like, uh, Travels. But from afar, it like it said Fanny. I'm not sure what that was about. I didn't pick it up because I didn't want to get up. I was being tired and lazy, but I kept looking at it because I had, like, an old guy fishing, and it just said, fa I, I want to say it said Fanny because, like, his fishing pole and trees were covering letters, but I don't know if it said Fanny or not, 
I thought it was really awkward. It was really funny because on the paperwork that I had to fill out with like previous medical condition, medical conditions and stuff, one of them says CPAP. But when I was reading it, I was just filling it out really quickly, and I totally thought it said crap. And then I was like, Christian, look, I totally thought it said crap. And then he's like, then he thought it said. Crap. I did. I was like, I, said I had to do a double take. <clears throat> so I almost circled yes, like yes, I do crap. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Uh. So right now, my chest hurts really bad. Um, it, like, oh, uh, I guess. Uh, so here are the grenades. Um, yeah. Uh, the nurse will show your surgery companion how to change them out. It's really simple. There's, like, this thing at the top, and you just take that off, and it being squeezed means that the suction is working. Mm -hmm. Um... And so when you put it back on, you want to squeeze it again. Till your, till your fingers meet. Yeah. And, um... I might have said something. I don't know if it was just me, but reading... They give you a sheet um, that has, like, a table on there, and you're supposed to write down, like, how much was... Or how much of liquid came out, and what time you did it, and whatnot. And it tells you how to, how to do it, but reading it was, to me, seemed a bit more complicated than when she just showed me. I was reading it, like, I read it twice, I was like, okay, I think I got this, and she showed me, I was like, oh, this is completely easy. So, I just thought that was kind of odd, a yeah. little bit. You have to record everything, because, like, if you're consistently, like, bleeding into the grenades, like, a lot, then you have to call Dr. Garamoni. Um, I feel like I'm totally forgetting something. Oh, the li they say the liquid is gonna, um, it, like, it's gonna be really red, like, I want to say the first day, the first day and a half, but then it's gonna start getting lighter as... The 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 week progresses. Oh, before the surgery, they put in an, an IV. Um, and in the IV, the only thing that's in there at the time is room temperature water. Uh, and your body isn't room temperature, and if it is, you're probably dead. But <laughs> um, unless you do some sort of spiritual practice that pertains to that. But, like, um, it feels really weird. Uh, it, like, your whole arm gets really cold because of the water going in, and, like, you can feel it go up your butt. It's weird. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, hurt, but it's really uncomfortable. And then, like, I could feel it in my chest. At least I thought I could feel it in my chest. And then, like, I started, like, coughing a lot before my surgery. Like, it was, like, uncontrollable. Um, um, oh, and then when they take you to the OR, um, you have to switch from the gurney over to, like, the surgery bed or whatever, um, and, like, oh, fuck, um, uh, oh, yeah, okay, and then there's, like, this bar where you have to put your left arm out, but the way that you have to position it is kind of uncomfortable because of the IV, and then they give you some medication to help with the, with the anxiety, and that is, like, really uncomfortable, like, your arm's gonna feel really, um, sore and it, it just it just hurts it doesn't I I don't know how to explain it It just feels really uncomfortable and like the the nurse that was helping me out uh the nurse statistician I yeah I think that's what she said her title was um she was just like yeah it's really uncomfortable don't worry it'll go away in a couple minutes just breathe deeply and like and I was like all right and then like out I was gone <laughs> um uh, I'm trying to think um I would recommend bringing bottles of water for the car ride home. That was a little mistake I made in not bringing that. Because, like I said, his mouth was really dry. Um, I mean, I guess you could always ask for, like, a water to go. But they give you, like, little cups. Like, little coffee cups. Maybe uh, that big-ish. They're not, they're not super big, but yeah, they're not super they're small. Yeah, they're not that big. But they're probably, like, what, three gulps worth of water. I would water. say maybe, like, the size of a kid's drink at most places in the United yeah. States. For, for, yeah, for the most part. But yeah, I would recommend bringing a bottle, a bottle of water, with you for the ride home. Um, in other terms, or like in other things, like in terms of the surgery center, everybody used the right pronouns with me, and that was really nice. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't know. I think that's it. That's all I have. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't remember if I said this, but like I said, my chest hurts, and it mostly hurts in, like, in the middle, um, and, yeah, 
that that was basically it. like it doesn't really hurt much anywhere else just in the middle like kind of bad um, um they didn't remember how they didn't tell you about what what kind of if they ended up having to meet in the middle or not too oh yeah dr garamoni said that the incisions might have to meet in the middle based on like the excess skin like basically if there's these two incisions and then like the rest of your skin like bunches up in the middle then they cut all the way through and it like meets like that but dr garamoni didn't see me after my surgery um so I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened or what to expect. Um, I'll probably just call and ask. Um, and then also, I didn't see him. But like, you go in and he marks on you and stuff. But like after that, I didn't see him for the rest of the day. Um, he also had someone call me at like seven thirty in the morning asking if I could come an hour and a half early to my to my surgery. Um, and I was like, no, <laughs> you're the one who said my red anyway. <laughs> Uh, ow. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a long week, I would imagine. But right now, I'm just kinda out of it. Uh, I'm not as out of it as I expected to be, though. Um, I like when you're in the hospital. <laughs> or in the, you're falling asleep mid sentence. Yeah, I felt, yeah, when you first wake up, you, uh, like, you, I just fell back asleep. They told me to fall asleep, or to try falling asleep, because I asked if I could go, and they told me to try falling asleep, so I fell back asleep for like an hour and a half, and I didn't even know that. They won't let you, they won't begin to discharge you until after you've had water and you've peed. Um, I don't, no one explains that to me as to why. Um, but, yeah, okay, so this video is, like, really long now. But, yeah, okay, bye, everyone. Thank you so much for your support, um, and, and thank you for making this possible. Um, I really appreciate it, and I'm sure Christian appreciates the, like, free vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the taking part of, the taking care of me part, um. But, yeah, okay. Bye, everyone. Oh, wait, I can't do that. <laughs>